Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? All right, Saggy. So this is your general energy reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This is a timeless reading. There is, there are no dates or times associated with this reading. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading. This is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Just check the description box below where I list a number of the emails, or I'm sorry, of the readings that I offer. Shoot me an email, letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, if you would like to support the channel and or get more content with me throughout the month that does not sh and, uh, show up here on YouTube, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversation. You could even potentially get discounts on your personal readings, depending on which tier you subscribe to. Follow up me on Instagram and Twitter. The link to those can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Last shuffle here. Let's see what messages we have for you at this time. At the bottom of the deck, we do have, we're starting you off with the Hierophant. Um, okay. This is giving me an energy of some tough lessons. Uh, you know, Sag, um, this Hierophant energy is making me feel like you are up against something right now that is, um, that is feeling really restrictive to you. I feel like whatever this energy is in your life right now, it is the exact opposite to what it is you normally um, roll with or how it is you normally uh, express yourself. I feel like this is an extremely restrictive energy. Okay. Um, either you have been put in a circumstance or situation in which you, are you feel restricted, you feel like you can't be yourself, or um, you find yourself in a situation like that. <clears throat> For some of you, you even signed up for something or like you're, you're, you're going through a class or a course or some sort of training program or, or something like that. Um, and it's very restrictive to you or towards you. It's not necessarily something or somewhere you would naturally find yourself. However, whatever it is you're dealing with here, whether you put yourself in this position for a specific reason or you find yourself in this situation, regardless as to how or why you find yourself here, there is a level of higher learning that you are able to tap into, that there's something that you are going to be able to gain, some sort of wisdom, some sort of higher education that you are going to be able to gain from this. So even if you are one of those people that are finding yourself kind of in many cases or in some ways, involuntarily being a part of whatever this situation or circumstance is just know just understand there is a purpose i do want to say there is a divine purpose for this okay um you will be able to learn something you will come out of this wiser okay so i really want to encourage you to just stick it out stick it stick through it get it just 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 get through it okay Saj? let's see what else we've got here for you First card we have is the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Next you have the Four of Wands. This might have something to do with family for some of you. One last card. I think that was the moon. Interesting, but it did not want to come out. Okay, one last card for Sagittarius, please. There it is. The Five of Wands. Okay. And then we're back to the Hierophant. Um, this Sagittarius, this might be some sort of couples counseling or family counseling. Um, I, I, I am getting family energies here from this and I'm getting it from the four of wands. Um, 
five of pentacles, four of wands, five of wands, and then the hierophant. I mean, this may this is really super specific, but this definitely feels like with this hierophant energy, this feels like someone, some sort of patriarchal figure or someone that is a, like the head of the family or the head of the household or the head of the group or something like that. This person is like, we need therapy or we need to go into some sort of program to work this shit out. This could be a team element. This could be work, okay? Um, but, or it could be like a family structure. But what I'm getting with this five of pentacles here is that we have individuals that are associated with this situation that don't feel adequately served, that don't feel like they are a part of the team or a part of a group, that feel like they're being left out in the cold. Maybe that if this is a job situation or a business or creative situation, maybe this is maybe these are individuals that don't feel like they have the proper skills. There is a level of unity involved here. This hierophant energy feels like some sort of institutionalized energy or some sort of restrictive energy that is meant to help get all parties involved on the same page. That is meant to help get a level of unity, union, four of wands, within the group. But here li lies the real conflict, the five of wands. There are some individuals that are in this group or are in this situation, Sagittarius, that are I want to say vindictive and dismissive that don't quite believe the individuals that say or feel here five of pentacles that they are not adequately served in this situation. So with this five of wands energy here, I feel like there's a level of gaslighting. I also feel like there's a level of elitism that's going on in this situation. So it, it, it may very well be very well be that there is um, a hierarchy involved in this group when really there's supposed to be a level of unity. And the individuals that are resonating here with this five of wands, they feel this sort of elitism. And yet they gaslight by saying, no, I don't feel that way. No, I don't express myself that way. No, I don't think of my of those other of the, the people other people in the group of that way. No, I'm not treating the other people in the group that way when they when they absolutely are. And if this is some sort of now, this doesn't have to I, I'm picking up this okay, look, this could be anything. But there is a level with this elitist energy that I'm feeling here in this situation. These individuals or this individual is trying to stay on or on the best page or within the best graces of whomever this patriarchal or figure is or whomever this leader is that is involved with this group. This individual or these individuals that have some sort of elitist tendencies are trying to keep themselves at the top of the group. They don't want unity involved in this group because then that means that they're just as they're, they're on the same level as these peons down here. Do you see what's happening? Are, there's a hell of a lot of gaslighting going on here. And whomever is in charge is absolutely right to get some sort of institutionalized energy or some sort of restrictive energy involved to level the playing field here. Whomever this patriarchal figure or this figure that is in charge, this leader here, it very well may be you, Sagittarius, but whomever this leader is here, you made the right decision in trying to flesh out a way for there to be union or unity involved in this group, in this situation. Okay. Uh, let's start with the five of pentacles. Ooh. Ooh, look at all that. No, we're not going to take that. But let's start with the five of, um, let me look at this for a second. Nine of Cups, Magician, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, and all of this wanted to come out in reverse. And I kind of feel like this was the answer to our question of the five of pentacles. I'm going to read it briefly because it does feel uh, appropriate, but then I'm going to put it back and I'm going to get a, a, a shuffle. 
Nine of Cups in reverse, the Magician in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse. This person or these people feel disenfranchised, period. And they can't get a word edgewise in. It's like their feelings, their emotions are devalued here. They can't, they have, it feels like they have, they feel like they have no say. It also feels like they have no say. They may, they may just be, just be perceiving it that way. But if we have other individuals on the other side of the situation that are gaslighting here, then yeah, it, it's perfectly valid for these people to feel like they don't have a say. They can't get a, an, a say or a, a word in edgewise. Okay. But clarify this five of pentacles, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. What's this five of pentacles? The chariot in reverse. Like literally these people feel like they have no way forward. They feel disenfranchised. They have no creative ability here. Mm. Clarify the five of pentacles, please. I mean, you guys, you can't make this stuff up. The hanged man. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. I was literally just about to say. With, and then you and then we're back to the nine of cups here. Okay. Um, first and foremost, before I lose this, the nine of cups as the overall energy is saying that these individuals that are resonating with this five of pentacles energy, they just want to feel part of the group. It's not like they're asking for anything extreme. It's not like they're asking for some crazy pay raise or for some like some seriously crazy privileges or anything like that. They just want to feel accepted. They just want to feel like they're part of the group that they have literally been a part of for X amount of time. Years, I'm hearing. But these people feel disenfranchised. And the whole situation has been held up because of this. What I was going to say here before the Eight of Wands in reverse came out, you have the chariot with the hanged man. There is, you because of this five of pentacles energy or because of someone feeling left out in the cold or left out in the group or not feeling a proper or adequate part member of the group, there has been a lack of movement. Y'all can't move forward here. And, and and that has been because there needs to be some sort of change in perspective. This is absolutely supposed to be happening here. And it has nothing to do with these individuals that are feeling disenfranchised. It's not like these individuals are holding the purse strings so tightly or they have such control over the situation that because they don't feel as a part of the group, now they have the express opportunity to hold the group back. They don't want to hold the group back. They want to move forward with the group just like everyone else. They want the group to be successful just like everyone else. But there's a discrepancy here. And this is meant to teach the hanged man. There is supposed to be some sort of change in perspective here. And until that change in perspective happens, there will be no movement forward. Eight of Wands reversed. The situation will continue to be blocked. And I can tell you right now, I do want to, I want to, I kind of want to clarify this hanged man some more, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you can understand or can, can glean or can gather where this discrepancy really lies. This is meant to be an eye opener for the whole group. Five of wands, gaslighting, disenfranchisement. Mm -hmm. Clarify the hanged man a little bit more, please, spirit. What is this lesson? What is this enlightenment that this, the group is supposed to learn? Can you give us a little bit more on that? Four of Swords reversed, the Death and the Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, there is a big change that needs to happen. And that change has everything to do with self-reflection. The Hermit. Um, either somebody was born into the family that is the, that is the black sheep of the family or someone got hired into some sort of business. Someone was put into some sort of group project and they seem to be wildly out of place regardless as to what specific type of situation this is. 
there is an individual or a number of individuals that could be seen as the black sheeps of or the black sheep of the situation. But always, always, those individuals are brought into the situation to shake things up, to get others to wake up to the reality of who we all are in truth. We are all equal. We have our differences in expression, in preferences, and obviously in the ways that we look. But we are all, at the core of ourselves, equal to each other. There is not one human being on the face of this planet that is better, more worthy, more loved by the divine than anyone else. And that is the transformation that is meant to be received through this situation. Somebody has got to look themselves in the mirror and, and admit to themselves that they are not better than someone else. With all that said, let's look at this Five of Wands energy. Clarify the Five of Wands, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. The first card we have is the Moon. Look at that. Clarify the Five of Wands for Sagittarius, please. Ace of Cups. And the Devil. Overall energy is the Nine of Cups. And the Hierophant wants to show itself again. So I'm going to put that right here. Because this is where the lesson needs to be learned. Nine of Cups. I just want to be happy. I just want to be a part of the group. The group. I just want to be included. Why are you making that so difficult for me? For us? Why are you shading? Why are you deceptively saying, oh, I love you. I don't see anything different within you. I'm just the same as you are. You're lying, the devil. This person is lying. These people are lying. It is, it is these individuals here, or this individual here. Take it as it resonates. But whomever is in this five of wands energy of gaslighting, of being two-faced, talking, talking out of both sides of their mouth, it's this individual that has the real problem. And I, I and I, please excuse me if you're if you're um. If you're um, um, uh, sensing a bunch of ire in my voice, I'm trying to be as respectful and as neutral in this as possible, but this is the kind of shit that really bothers me. I dealt with a lot of this growing up as a child, so this is a, this is slightly triggering. I mean, it's not so triggering for me anymore because I've healed a lot from it, but it's still... it's still a topic of contention. And when things like this come up, I, I don't like it. And I'm really not afraid to let people know that I don't like it. But at the same time, I'm trying to be as helpful and as encouraging as possible. But these are the individuals or this is the individual here that really has the true problem. And that really needs to learn. The lesson here is for this person or these people. You have the toxic viewpoint. You have the toxic alignment. You are the one that is or you are the ones that are or is afflicted by this devilish, toxic, low vibrational energy because for some reason you can't get past the fact that you seem to think you're better than somebody else. You're not. You never have been and you never will be. And if I'm triggering the absolute hell out of you right now by saying this, then that's a damn good thing because you need to get the fuck over yourself and come back down to earth where the rest of us are. Until you do that, your situation will forever be hindered. And you can, you, you can sit here and you can chicken neck and talk out the side of your mouth, both sides of your mouth, all you want. And you can think that you can escape this group, go into yet another one and think you can escape this lesson. Honey, you will never be able to skip this lesson. 
Either you'll be able to escape it in this lifetime, and then in your next lifetime, you'll have to deal with it again, but it's going to be even harder next time. Or you're going to jump ship here, move on to the next, and be faced with it yet again. It doesn't matter. You have got to learn this lesson. You are no better than anyone else, period. Or this person, these people are no better than anyone else. And as long as you hold that viewpoint, your situation will forever be stuck and stagnant. This is your lesson to learn here. These people or this person. Okay? Wow. Wow. Okay, let's close this or this reading. Um, and I'm being guided to get oracle guidance, closing oracle guidance for you from the secret language of light. Closing oracle guidance, please, spirit for my Sagittarians, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Two more shots here. Um, okay, I, I there is there's our oracle card right there. But also, um, I'm looking at this nine of cups energy here and. I understand that there's a very real reason as to why this this person or these individuals have been um, aligned with this group of people that make them feel like they're outcasts or within the situation they come across as or they are seen as the black sheep. Please understand that you don't have to stay in this type of environment your whole life. Part of your lesson also for the black sheep in this in, in this situation and please excuse me if 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 you take if you don't like that term i'm not i don't mean to offend anybody here but for lack of a better term to really get that definition in there that's the one i'm going to use right now but part of your lesson here is also to learn to love yourself enough to say i don't when to say when enough is enough like i don't need you i don't need these people you don't need these people sometimes in some cases you are better off to just drop the situation. We did not get the Five of Swords here, so it's not that dire yet. But the Five of Swords is a type of energy in which it's a lose-lose situation. All you really need to do is slowly put down your sword and back away. Don't engage any longer. Maybe it's getting to that point, but I, 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 wanna, I just want to make it very clear. You don't have to stay in a situation like this. Maybe once the situation has run its course, maybe once you start to realize that it's not going to change, if the five of swords had come out here, then I would definitely say somebody needs to just needs to just cut their losses and dip. It hasn't gotten there yet. But I was looking at that nine of cups and I was like, look, babe, if you want to be happy, you really don't have to subject yourself to this. OK. But again, take that with a grain of salt. Take it as it resonates. Your closing oracle guidance here is, ooh, oh my goodness, card number 42, Inward Revolution. Ooh, honey, you cannot make this shit up. <laughs> All right, let's read this. Okay, here we go. The key phrase of this card, or the caption of this card is... The way of your heart. You are always moving forward, even when you feel like you are going backward. Your path may seem to go up and down or inward and outward. The spiral is a symbol of your soul journey. It represents the cyclical adventure into your heart center. You will continually visit, as revisit aspects of your life to bring you to deeper understanding. Difficulties and challenges can command a greater focus as they help to build bigger and better dreams and desires. Each cycle of life is an important stepping stone that expands into the next. Your life will only feel authentic when you come to your own conclusions. 
An inward revolution will open you to the wisdom of your soul. It is a past it is a, it is a path we must all take to truly know and love ourselves. From this place we move outward, back into the world empowered with our soul's wisdom. You are worthy of all you desire, no matter where you are in your spiral. Wow. There you have it, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I truly, truly hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, including my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, please make sure to check us out on Patreon if you would like to get extra content with me throughout the month. And also, if you would like to uh, support the channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, the link to that can be found in the description box below as well. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. And depending on which tier you subscribe to, you could either get discounts on your personal readings or even get one personal reading with me every month of your of your subscription. Yes, thank you to all of you that have already joined the Unicorn Herd over on Patreon. Without you guys, I would not be able to be here. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to both of those can be found in the description box below as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Sagittarius, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.